Hi, welcome to Nerdisance Biology. I'm Mickey Slinger, and today we're going to be talking about genitals. That's all right. I'll give you a minute to get the giggles out. All right, that's enough. Grow the fuck up. It's also worth mentioning this can get a bit disturbing, so viewer discretion is advised. Nerdisance! Since this is YouTube, there's a limit to what I can show you, and human sex organs are out of the question. Don't worry. I've heard there's places all over this great internet of ours that has pictures of people parts. If you look hard enough, I bet you can even find some video. But for most of us, human anatomy, as titillating as it is, is not strange or interesting. For that, we shall turn to the animal kingdom, which has no shortage of strange and alien genitalia, some of which is attached to fairly familiar species. And that's where we will begin, with the duck. Latin name, Anus platyrinchus. The duck sits atop the animal kingdom's most rapey list. Shown here is the duck penis. Long and corkscrewed, the duck penis falls off after each mating season and grows back in size in direct correlation with the amount of rivals it has the following season. Some male ducks even grow barbs or spines designed to scrub out competitors' sperm. For female ducks, this is somewhat problematic in light of the aforementioned rapiness. They have, however, evolved a corkscrew vagina that, not surprisingly, twists in the opposite direction. And some even have false paths and endings to defend against unwanted fertilization. On the other end of the spectrum is the octopus. Latin name, Octopata. Octopi have what appears to be mostly consensual sex, albeit sometimes extremely rough and freaky. But the intrigue of the genitals in question is of placement. This is a picture of some very tame octosex that kind of looks like one octopus is picking the other's nose. Except that arm is a penis called a hectocotylus, and that nostril is a mantle cavity, which is technically a nostril. Some male octopi will detach this specialized arm and present it to a female for later use. And some hectocotyli have the amazing ability to swim up on their own in search of a mate. Speaking of amazing tackle, the barnacle, Latin name Cirripedia. The barnacle possesses what is most likely the largest penis to body ratio in the entire animal kingdom, stretching almost eight times the body length of the organism itself. Then again, if you spent most of your life with your ass glued to a rock, you'd probably want something going for you too. And as long as we're shattering male egos, let's turn to the hyena. Latin name, Hyenidae. Despite being comparatively a human size and weight, hyenas have, on average, a penis that is larger than most humans. And that's just the females. Female hyenas have an elongated clitoris called a pseudopenis that can measure up to seven inches long, well over that of the average human male, which according to current medical records is just over five inches. But before you get disheartened, guys, at least you don't have to give birth through yours. Female hyenas give birth through that narrow opening, often losing 60% of their first litter to suffocation. And if that didn't cheer you up, at least you're not an echidna. Latin name, Tachyglossidae. Echidnas and platypi have what's called a cloaca, sort of a multi-purpose orifice, common in birds, reptiles, and invertebrates. In addition, inside the cloaca, males have a four-headed penis. Kind of looks like a little hand, doesn't it? And the female echidna, unlike most mammals, has neither breast nor nipple. They literally sweat out their milk from a hairless patch on their stomach. So ladies and gentlemen, take comfort in your own bodies. As weird and as awkward as sex and figuring out what we've got going on is, we have it pretty easy. We may all be different sizes and shapes, but we all kind of fit together pretty well. And no matter what your penis or breast size is, and how insufficient or uncomfortable that may make you feel, remember, there's probably somebody out there who's into that. Thanks for watching, and as always, Stay nerdy, my friends. Hey, Nerdisance. This is Amanda Bowles, and I'm a little bit in my cups which means that I want to work out.